Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. And in this video I'm going to show you one of my star buys. You're going to have to excuse the, uh, the bunged up again. Uh, bloody allergies yet again. Now, anybody who follows my videos knows that uh, uh, every now and again I manage to pick up something really nice. Um, last week or a couple of weeks ago I put a film out where I picked up a George Shalders watercolour painting for £35. Beautiful, beautiful painting. Uh, only last week or a few days ago I posted a video that I picked up a 1960s Breitling chronomatic watch. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Well, in today's video I'm going to show you an absolutely stormer of a shield. It's not a shield you'd use in battle, it's one you'd hang on the wall. Now the Queen has got um, a cast iron shield on her wall um, of a Renaissance frieze or battle scene. Uh, but I think hers was actually used in, uh, in you know, parade armour. Well, in the 19th century, companies like Colebrook Day and Elkington, Colebrook Dale and Elkington, copied or took inspiration from this shield and others and made their own versions. Now what I got to show you, uh, I don't know if it's Colebrookdale or if it's Elkington or what, but it is huge and it is spectacular. It has a full renaissance battle scene, a gothic revival, beautiful frieze and uh, I'll give you some close-ups on that of it in uh, just a minute. Uh, now I, I said to you a couple of days ago that I wanted to start selling some Madeira items on eBay because I won't sell them in the shop purely because I wanted to up my game level. Now what I want to do is go into this type of uh, item if I can dealing in decorative arts of quality and that is second and that is absolutely amazing. I'll give you some close-ups of it now in just a minute. Uh, and give you a little video so you can see and I will take photos and add them in at the end. Um, now I've done a bit of research and I have found the exact same one sold or up for auction years ago um, in the Manor of Elkington. Now I don't know how much they added up for. Um, the auction results ain't there. I have been to the auction house to look and the auction results are not there. It didn't, didn't sell, didn't meet reserve. Uh, sorry, didn't meet reserve, uh, so I don't know how much you would have sold for. However, there are varying um, cast iron plaques like this with bronze finishes, uh, different designs or similar designs, but not the exact, by different makers. So you've got them out there by Colebrookdale, because Colebrookdale copied the one that the Queen has got hanging in Windsor Castle. She did, they done an exact replica. Uh, They've also produced others based on that uh, shield. Um, now I have found them varying from £300 up to £1,500. I paid £200 for this uh, on Sunday. As I told you, I done a job lot. You had this and you had the big large Japanese charger. He wanted £350 for the pair and I got him for, three, uh, for £250 for the pair. It's absolutely spectacular guys and uh, I haven't decided yet whether to put it up for sale, take it to a London sale room, see what they'll offer me or put it on my wall in the house for now and save up some of my better pieces as investment. Now I see that plaque being somewhere between 500 and 800 pound in today's market. They don't come on the market very often. Um, in all the results I can find online, I can only find four or five varying examples, period, all, all over the world. So they're not that common. Don't get me wrong, they would have been made. Uh, a lot of the time you'll see firebacks with these type of freezes and things like that. But I think it is a spectacular item. It is seriously thick. It's got to be 10, 20 kilos. It's an inch thick. And we're talking, when well you can see the size of it, it's over two foot diameter. The freeze is amazing. I love anything with the Renaissance battle scenes and things like that anyway. 
I had a bronze once that I should never have sold, which I felt was a 17th century bronze, uh, Renaissance bronze battle scene. And I let that go through Drew It Neat uh, for less than it should have gone. <coughs> but if it's worth 300, 400, it doesn't really matter. I've paid 200 for it. It's worth a lot more than 200. But in my personal opinion, on what I've seen, you can get for your money. I don't think I'd have a problem between a five and eight hundred estimate on that. I'm going to give you a little look at some research and some others that are available online, just so you can see. Um, and I am going to, as I said, do a film for you now, so that you can see this up close and personal. It is cast iron with a bronze finish. And it's 19th century. And I absolutely love you guys. I really do. To be totally honest with you, if I wasn't a dealer, I would have bought it to hang in my house anyway. So I'm going to get to showing you the, um, the footage of it now. Uh, you can see a nice close up of it front and back. And then I'm going to show you some of the examples I found online. So you can see what you think. Okay, so let's give you a close-up look and you can see why I'm so excited. Start off with this centre. What we have, guys, is almost a Renaissance battle scene or a Renaissance freeze. We can see all the uh, soldiers in mid-battle. It is absolutely quite breathtaking. Some castle or building behind them here. So they're fighting in front of something. And this goes all the way around. Now, this isn't signed, but the work is done by Colebrookdale who were the leading 19th century founders for cast iron works. This piece is cast iron, very very heavy guys, with a bronze finish. It's not solid bronze, it's cast iron. But it is spectacular. Why the hell they haven't put the name to it, I don't know. Let me turn it over for you. Okay, just for those of you who want to see the underside. I know you like to see the backs of things and the underneath so you can see the age for yourself to help you identify things when you are looking. So you can see it's actually, uh, yeah, you can see where it's been cast into the mould. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the exact shield I got or very close to the shield I got. You can see it here, it has the building in the background and them fighting on horseback and everything. Uh, that looks like the exact shield or version of what I got. Now they've sold it as a Victorian Gothic Revival cast iron shield in the style of Elkington. Uh, half a metre diameter. Now Elkington is one of the people I've attributed it to. I believe it would have been more Colebrookdale. Uh, this one was offered 1st of March 2016. Now, auction houses are very cheap anyway, very low estimates. Now, I don't know what it was estimated at. I've been to this auction house, and the estimates are not there. Uh, not that I'm worried anyway. Um, but they've attributed it anyway to Elkington. Now, some of the others I found, there are loads, well, I say loads, there's half a dozen variations of shields with battle scenes online. This one was quite spectacular, but that was a lot of money. That's the one I've got. Uh, bear with me. Oh, that's the uh, results for that auction. So, there we have it again. That's a close-up of the one I got, or that I found in the auction house. That's the one the Queen has got in the Royal Collection. Now this one is a reproduction. This was done by Colebrookdale. It's a reproduction. Uh, uh, don't bear with me. Was that the one? No, sorry, that's not the one. This is the one I think the Queen has got. That's the one, sorry. That's, that's the reproduction by Elkington that the Queen has got hanging in Windsor Castle. 
Now these are all based off this one shield, I believe, with this Renaissance battle scene and that coming around the outside. I think all the Elkington one, uh, Colbrookdale ones and the Elkington ones are based off this one shield. That is an exact replica by Colbrookdale of the Queen's that's hanging in Windsor Castle. This is another variation of it done by Colbrookdale again. Uh, and it was basically the parade shield, the Kalini shield, uh, Windsor Castle, the Royal Collection. So I think all the shields that you find, they're all based on this one shield, I believe. Or certainly inspired by this shield. And that's in the Royal Collection. As you can see, there are a few examples about. Uh, but all of them demand money. Um, but they're just not available to buy. Now, if you want one of these hanging up in your home or in your passage for people to see as they come in you know you ain't gonna get that for less than 500 quid anyway not in any good uh, antique re retailer uh, the quality of the casting is superb the finish on it is really nice and I just absolutely love it did I pay too much at 200 pound I don't think so would I buy it again at 200 pound I've done my research absolutely and we will see how I go. I haven't decided yet. I will give you an update if I ever sell it. But I have already had interest off uh, one or two of the private dealers I know. Uh, but at the moment, just for now, it's going to hang on my wall. I'm going to enjoy it for a little bit. Whether I sell it later will be another thing. But for now, it's uh, my enjoyment. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing it, guys. Beautiful, beautiful shield. If you have, I would appreciate the like and a share. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment to let me know you've subscribed and I'll give you a thumbs up. Uh, you'll find me on Facebook, I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. Uh, you'll find me on eBay at the moment, Antiques Arena Clearance. I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can visit me in the shop, Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Foxtrot, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.